welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Today we are taking a look at the 1990, I know it's in the bubble wrap, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles April O'Neil figure by NECA, okay? I'm ready to go. I got my uh, my yellow uh, yellow trench coat, yellow raincoat on. I feel like, uh, like the Gordon Fisherman. Um, I got my uh, Channel 6 hat. I know this. Uh, she works at Channel Three in the in the movie, but uh, you know I don't have a Channel Three hat, so this is as close as I can get. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. I just wanted to show. I always take out the bubble wrap because I just want to show you guys uh, just how they wrap this thing. This is just such a cool device. This is kind of like a new thing that's popping up. I guess. I, well, within the last year, where like these 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 custom here, I'll take it out. These custom bubble wrap boxes. I really love these things and. Um, I feel like uh, I've only seen NECA use them so far, but uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show that. So here's the box, the Ninja Turtle. Well, before we get into the box, let me just say I waited for this uh, for for quite some time. I, I feel like I was like on the last uh, or in the in the last group to get them. I feel like everybody had them except me. Uh, maybe NECA put me on some kind of shit list where I get stuff last. Um, I also got my Mondo Gecko and Muckman finally. But here's the thing. No uh, no tracking for this. Just arrived. No email, nothing. Just, you know, orphan in a, in a firehouse. Baby orphan in a firehouse. Just on my, on my doorstep. Open the door. Oh, okay. Here's your stuff. So I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, anyway, let's forget about all that. Let's go ahead and dive into this. First thing first, the packaging. All right, NECA always on point in the packaging game. The best in the business, I think. Um, so this one has this hologram cover. If you can see it through screen, I hope it pops up and you get all the all the different screens that sort of, you know, you rotate them and you get different images. This is just so cool, okay? I, I This is so cool that I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna do something with it. I don't know, maybe I'll put it in front of Shredder. Remember he throws that fucking dagger into the, the screen. I don't know. I want to do something with it though, but uh, packaging is is I, I mean this is a this is uh, what's a what's a better more apropos packaging than 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 this. So I love this, and then on the back you get sort of the pictures of April and in the different different things she's doing. You get the turtles, and you get the little blurb uh, on the uh, on the movie. You can go ahead and pause that right there if you want. Uh, but uh, but yeah. So and then Ultimate April O'Neil. Let's go ahead and open up the window box. And then you get April, and she's standing by the van. Van confirmed? No, I don't know. But uh, standing by the news van, and then you got April, and uh, we'll take her out in a second here, and you got all the different accessories. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open the April O'Neil 1990 TMNT figure. Welcome back. April O'Neil in hand. Um, so, my first uh, knee-jerk reaction to this, knee-jerk, because... The knees? Uh, no, uh, we'll talk about the knees in a bit. Uh, but my first reaction to this is just uh, take away the individual components that um, are, 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 you know, might be problematic. This is a great figure. You have to give it to NECA. This is, this is as good a, a, an April O'Neil figure as you're going to get. I don't think somebody's going to come along and, and make a better one. This is, this is the ultimate April O'Neil. Uh, so, um, let's just take a look at her from, uh, from, from, uh, top to bottom. So you got her face. So the, uh, the, uh, Judith Hogue, uh, circa 1990 face, the hair looks great. Looks, I mean, that's it's spectacular hair. Look at that. It's, it's got the, was that a perm or whatever? But I, I mean, this is, I'm I'm just really impressed by the hair. It's got that little wave thing. It's 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 almost like a statue. Uh, this is sculpted really really well. Then you move down. You got the shirt. You got the vest with the little I don't know with the little pins on there. And then you got the blouse. And uh, you got the rolled up sleeves and the hands. And then you get to the knees and uh, and uh, and the feet. Now these knees. Let's just talk about them. Uh, first of all, the coloring is different because it's like pantyhose. So it's co the coloring here is like different than her uh, her uh, her arms and, and her face. Um, a lot of people did not love these knees, and um, I have to agree with them. Although as a whole, I feel like the figure works and. You know, maybe these knees were done for a reason. Like there is, you know, there's obviously a lot more posability here um, that uh, uh, I think you have to account for. But uh, 
I don't know. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of how this is segmented. It kind of looks like, you know, like Pinocchio puppet sort of knees. And uh, I just wish they would have gone for a different uh, direction. It, to be honest, and I'll be honest, um, I, I, I don't, I'm not really planning myself, planning on like doing tons of poses with her like dynamic, super dynamic poses. So I would have rather that uh, the knees were maybe not as poseable, but just looked fine standing up because I mean, let's face it with this blouse, there's not that much you can do. Like I can't have her sitting down, can't have her in like some battle stance. So I kind of wish that, uh, that the knees were, were different uh, akin to, and I brought this out. This is also by NECA, the uh, They Live figure. Now I know this one is a, is a little bigger in scale, but the knees, I don't know, they just look like normal women's knees. And, uh, and, and, and this one is not super posable. I mean, you don't get much. Hey, by the way, uh, NECA QC, this arm fell off. So just, just, uh, just know, I'm also waiting for a replacement tongue, but I digress. I'm not gonna even fucking get into that. But like, look at this, this knee, you can get that. I, how much more do you need from April? I mean, this April, she'll give you a little more than that. She'll go, she'll go that far versus that. But this knee looks, these knees look so much better. I mean, look, I know it's dark, but just look at the, look at the knee comparison. I mean, come on. So I just wish the fucking arm is pissing me off. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't know. So I do have to agree about the knees and, and why they made this, this, this very odd choice which the more I look at it, it just kind of bugs me. My eye just goes to that. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, is somebody going to make replacement knees or custom knees and we can maybe swap it out? I have no idea, but uh, maybe she'll just go in the back where you don't see her knees. The other thing I don't love is this on the back. Uh, the uh, the painting, you know, the, the I guess it was cast with the, the, the flesh uh, color or whatever. And so you got that underneath and then in the joints and even in the ankles right here, you got the flesh color that's coming out. So you can't really pose her from the back because it just looks like she's cheap and she buys cheap pantyhose. So um, that is the knock that I'm going to give from this figure. So I think this figure is a success from the waist up. Well, maybe I'll say from the blouse up. I think once we get here, starts to get into trouble. Here, no good. Here, really, really good. No good. Really, really good. So, um, and in terms of comparison to the other April figure, I mean, it's a cartoon, but, uh, you know, it's compare and contrast. Maybe I'll take some pics of them together. This one does have a proportionate head. So bonus points for that. Um, April O'Neil multiverse? Maybe all the Aprils get together and they got to save the turtles? I don't know. Just a suggestion. But uh, so uh, in terms of articulation, uh, we, we did a little bit on the knees, but you get the... Uh, you get the ball joint in the head, looks down, looks up. You get the ball joints here, although mine are a little creaky. You get how much elbow bend you get. You get this much elbow bend, so that's pretty good. You can do the little microphone. I'll show the accessories in a second. Do you get a waist swivel? You do get a waist swivel, so there you go. Do a little waist action there. And then, of course, you get the, the knees. Now, there is a ball joint somewhere tucked, it, tucked up in there, but uh, uh, you, you're only going to get that much separation that's pretty much pretty much it and then the knees bend that much and then you get a rock you actually get a rock at the ankle and uh you get the hinge the hinge at the ankle but uh but yeah so i mean look all in all i i really do like this figure but then there's like choices that just confound me like why why these knees was it necessary i don't think it was but anyway let's go into accessories uh first accessories you get this uh box of pizzas uh, okay, you get, uh, what is it, Smelio's and uh, and Josh's Pizza. I'll take some pictures of that. You need some food. Um, then you get this extra April head. Now, this extra April head, I don't think this is that necessary. Um, I would have rather had a, a trench coat than this extra head. So this head, she's kind of serious, but this head, she's smiling just a little bit. It's kind of negligible. I don't know that you really needed that, but it is what it is. Then you get this uh, cool microphone. Channel 3 uh, uh, microphone, it's got the little little wire right here. And then you get uh, all the different hands. So you get, uh, what do you got here? Come on. You got two, ah, fuck. You get two uh, uh, grabbing hands, and then you get a pointing hand. Aha. Uh -huh. And then you get, it's like a fist. I thought at first it was another grabbing hand, but it's a fist. 
Oops, who's she punching, Casey? Um, and then you get the scythe, all right? I lost the scythe, and it's gone. Uh, but uh, 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 the scythe, I think this scythe is a little bigger than the normal Raphael scythe. And then you get a stand, because you're going to need it. And then you get this big old purse, okay? This purse is actually pretty dope. You get the, uh, the, uh, the pattern on there. I really like that. And it kind of opens a little bit. It's like hard plastic, but it, you can creak it open just a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, big, big fat purse. Oh, the way she looks in front of the turtles too. Uh, size differentiation is about that much, which I like because she's actually taller than the turtles. Hint, hint, cartoon April who's shorter than everybody. This is how it should be. Taller than the turtles. I mean, not too much taller, but I mean, she's like, she's tall enough, right? So um, I do like the size differentiation. And then I'll take some pics with other stuff. I think I got Casey somewhere. I'll take some pics, put it, put it up later. But, uh, but yeah, so all in all, I think this is a, a, a good figure. I'm happy to have it. I'm not happy about these knees. Look, I'm just kind of instinctively covering them up. Not happy about these knees, um, but I would say as a, as, a, as a complete work, I'll call it a success, okay? I'll say it's, uh, if we're doing movies, I, I'm, I'll, I'll say it's like, a, like a, I don't know, 7.5 or 8 out of 10. It's, it's nice, and it's, and, and it's really, really cool that we're even getting this April O'Neil figure um, for the 1990 Ninja Turtle movie. Um, I mean, yeah, she's a major character, but like, you always get the turtles, and uh, it, it's nice to expand out of that. So, pretty happy with this. She's gonna look really good in the lineup, and then, uh, and then, yeah. So, um, by the way, they're also making variants of this April. Uh, uh, there was some kind of farmhouse April. They'll make other April figures. Please fix these knees. <laughs> Just do the they live knees. Can you do that? Like, go to that factory that does that. And, uh, but not the arm, not the arm, because the arm fucking fell off. I, I'm just looking at it. It's just bothering me. It's just looking at it. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I can't look at this day lift figure anymore. Uh, that's all April O'Neil 1990, ultimate April O'Neil, sorry, 1990 figure review in the bag. And, uh, um, I'm, I have a, uh, a, uh, what, the, what is this? This is, this, I mean, signature. I'm, I'm waiting for a signature, April O'Neil. Come on, Judith, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and, and sign those things and get the yellow trench coat out of there because I need that one too. I don't think I'm going to open that. I might just do kind of like an inbox review and then I'll put it somewhere and then I'll give it to my grandkids that uh, don't exist someday. But uh, that is all I got. April O'Neil, 1990 figure. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm sure there's uh, going to be a lot of uh, talk back and uh, about these uh, these knees. Uh, what, what's going on with the back of this? Come on, man. This is so simple. Just a simple fix. Anyway, that's it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.